So before starting off with the video, I'd love to tell you that I've been taking a lot of free life classes at an academy. Now this Saturday, that is April 9, I'll be taking an Ask Me Anything session on career guidance. You can ask me anything and it's based on first come, first basis. Also in future, I'll be taking a lot of other free life classes as well where you can interact with me live. So in order to uh, stay updated, you can follow me on Instagram. My ID goes as driver underscore 79. Hey everyone, welcome back to Take You Forward. So today we will be solving another problem, longest by tonic subsequence and this problem will be dp46 uh, what are the prerequisites definitely dp41 and dp42 which was based on lis so if you have not seen it uh, please go back and watch it then we can start with dp46 so what does the question state longest by tonic subsequence what does it actually mean so you're given an array right and by tonic over here means you can take something as increasing and then it can decrease and then it can decrease. So something like this in a graph, increase and then decrease. For example, in this particular array, if I pick 1, 2, 10, it's increasing till here. Then if I decide I'm going to pick 4, 2, 1, it's decreasing. Similarly, I can pick something like uh, 1, 2, 10, and uh, then I can pick something like 5, 2, 1. If you carefully see, this is increasing and this is decreasing. Similarly, I can pick something like uh, 1, 11, 10, 4, 2, 1. And you can see this is increasing till here and then it is decreasing. Similarly, I can pick something like 1, 11, 10, 5, 2, 1. Again, increase and decrease. So all of these are bitonic subsequences. All of these are bitonic subsequences. And among all the bitonic subsequences, you have to tell me the longest. And this is the longest length, which is 6. Yes, the length will be 6. And I want you to return the longest length. But wait, does bitonic only mean increase and then decrease? No, it can just be increase. It can just be increase or it can just be decrease any any way like it can just be increased or it can just be decreased got it so for an example let, let's let's take an example if i take an array like 1 uh, 10 and then probably i can take 2 uh, 3 4 5 6 now this is an array right and i'm asking you uh, the longest increasing subsequence so you can be like uh, okay longest by tonic rather you can be like striver the answer to this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't, I don't pick up 10. I don't pick up 10. And the length will be 6. But you'll be like, but this is not bitonic. Because this is just increasing. This is just increasing in a graph. Where is the decreasing portion? As I said, it cannot have a decreasing portion. That's okay. So this is, again, a perfect bitonic. A longest increasing subsequence is also a bitonic subsequence. Got it? So I can say a longest increasing subsequence is also a bitonic. Similarly, the longest decreasing subsequence is also a bitonic. For an example, if I just take uh, an array to be 5, uh, 4, 3, 100, 2, 1. And over here, I can say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is of length 5. That means I omitted 100. This is of length 5. And this is an LDS, longest decreasing subsequence and it is still bitonic why because it has the decreasing portion as i said it can either have both it can either have increasing or it can either have decreasing as long as it is having either of them or both of them i'm absolutely okay so i hope uh, you have uh, pretty much understood uh, this portion so i hope you have understood uh, this question now how do you approach this question what do we know we know uh, subsequence increasing or something like this can be related to longest increasing subsequence so can i relate this can i relate this what does dp of i like if you remember the longest like let's let's go back to the longest increasing code if i if you remember the lis code it was something like i equal to zero and you moved on till i lesser than n i plus plus and you always knew that a dp of any guy will be one and then you moved like uh, j equal to zero j lesser than i j plus plus and you said hey listen uh, if uh, array of 
i is greater than array of previous because it is longest increasing subsequence and and if i add one to it it will be like dp of i and then i can just uh, replace dp of i is equal to one plus dp of j and if i can replace that uh, that is how the lis was what does this dp signified what does this dp signified so if you remember the dp signified the longest increasing subsequence till index i that is what it signified the longest increasing subsequence till the index i so for an example if for this array i have to write the dp can i say the dp will be uh, definitely one for this two for this why because at this guy the longest increasing will be this so length two and uh, again at this guy if you just take this array one and two will be the longest so this is what for this it will be like one two ten so three for this it will be one two four so again three for this it will be one two four five which is four so four again for this it will be just one and two so two for this it will be uh, nothing but one so this is what the dp will be so can i say till here the longest length is three again justifies similarly if you if you carefully observe if you carefully observe i can say the longest increasing subsequences of length four which is one two four five that's the longest increasing subsequence of length four now can i say what am i looking for i am saying okay one two ten and then four to one just just have your eyes have your eyes from this portion can i say this is increasing this is increasing and if you are having your eye eyes from this portion this is increasing can i similarly jot down a opposite lis array reverse of lis that means i will look from here i will look from here and can i similarly jot down an lis array i can so i'll be like okay let's call this as dp1 and what i'll do is i'll call a dp2 it's an opposite one where i will be this was like 1 2 4 this was from this side now i'll be doing the dp from this side okay so if i just take this array if i just take this array the length will be 1 if i take this the length will be 1 and 2 so 2 if i take this the length will be 1 2 5 which is 3 if i take this it will be 1 2 5 or it will be 1 2 and 4 like if i just take this it will be 1 2 4 or it can be uh, the opposite way which i set correct so perfect so i know that the length is 3 again if i talk about this so i'll take this what's the longest 1 2 4 10 a length 4 so increasing in this order if i check out this it will be 1 and 2 it will be 1 and 2 so a length of 2 if i check out this it will be 1 2 4 10 11 of a length 5 if i check this out it will just be 1 so what i did was dpi is in this order dp2 is in this order done now can i say if i have two dp tables one is the for forward increasing one is the backward increasing right now if i'm standing here i know till here the longest like including 10 including 10 the longest will be 3 which is 1 to 10 and from here the increasing will be 4 so can i say the overall length will be 3 plus 4 equal to 7 1 2 will be three length and the four will be 10 5 2 1 4 so i know till here it's a three till here it's a four but there is a guy who is common who is 10 itself because 1 to 10 is for increasing 10 is common 10 5 2 1 4 is for decreasing 10 is common so 7 minus 1 So at ten, at ten, you got the bitonic to be of length six. At ten, you got the bitonic to be of length six. So can I say 
in this way i can figure out the entire bitonic i can so let's figure out the entire bitonic so i'll be like let's figure out the entire bitonic so be one plus one itself minus one so one length two plus five seven minus one two plus two four minus one two three plus four seven minus one three plus three six minus one four plus three seven minus one two plus two four minus one one plus one two minus one so this is the bitonic this is the bitonic and if this is the bitonic and if this is the bitonic which is the longest bitonic that you get? Six, six, six. So the length is six. So as simple as that. If you can figure the LIS from the front, from the back, and you can combine them, you get your bitonic. Yes, that is how you can easily use the LIS to solve this particular problem. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started to the code. Okay, so we have given the array and then so what I'll do is I'll just go back and copy paste the longest increasing subsequence code copy pasted i'll also copy paste uh, this because they're using vectors okay so perfect now this is dp of one that we will call the front portion what i'll do is i'll just change it and we will be uh like this is for dp of one definitely dp of one dp of one this is no more required we are not requiring any max length We'll just compute the dp array perfect and similarly we can uh, again uh, just copy paste this portion and we can have dp2 now over here what will happen is this will start from the back because we're doing the ex exact reverse okay and this time the previous will be from back and the previous this time will be greater than i just the reverse nothing else and previous minus minus once you've done this you will be writing the exact similar thing the exact similar thing remember this it's the exact similar thing no change and you can just omit this once you've omitted this this will be dp of 2 this will be dp of 2 this will be dp of 2 and this will also be dp of 2 this will be dp of 1 so i can say the dp of 2 is computed the dp of 1 is computed now you need the max length okay you need the max length so what you can do is for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and you can have int maxi equal to zero or rather one because that's a minimal but that's fine maxi equal to max of maxi comma dp of one of i plus dp of two of i minus one at the end of the day you can return the maxi as the answer that's how you can easily solve this so it does run fine on all the custom test cases let us quickly submit and see if it is giving us the correct answer so guys this is how you will be solving this longest bitonic subsequence it's a very simple one bigo of n square another bigo of n square and then this bigo of n could have been done over here as well like you can just uh, just put this over here as well because every time the i is getting computed you can also put it over there that is still okay like if you want to do it on the same line, you can still do it. So yeah, this is how we can easily solve this. So guys, I hope I was able to explain you the bitonic subsequence. So just in case I was able to explain you, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to this channel, please, please do consider subscribing to us. That does mean a lot. With this, let's wrap up this video and meet in the next one where we'll be discussing another video from the LIS. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.